All right, all of the frame is done. It's all screwed together. I did all of the screws, as you probably saw just a second ago. All the screws are facing away from, you know, the front side of it so that it's just a little bit cleaner. You won't see them looking, you know, towards it. The only thing you'll see is the, uh, the big old pieces of rebar holding it to the ground and then the little the screws holding the three base rails together. I don't actually remember what time I started on this. I think it was a couple hours ago. So we'll say some somewhere between two and three hours that it's taken me to get this, you know, set up and, and going and make it this far. So time for some roof sections. That's part of your castle? You're making a castle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently this is a castle now. I'm going to drink my coffee. Your coffee, I think that's my coffee. <laughs> well, I make good progress for a couple hours just kind of spontaneously deciding to work Daddy, on it. Daddy, it's been made this for two hours, I think. It has, it's been more like three hours, but yeah. Here, let me have my coffee. My coffee. Please, thank you. Yeah, made good, made good progress. Uh, main main reason for stopping now, it's, I don't know, six o'clock probably, Sunday Sunday afternoon right now. Uh, main reason for stopping, while I have plenty of daylight left, is this little short step stool is, uh, it's gonna be challenging to use this for the roof. I need to get, I need to get higher and better leverage down on the screws. Uh, I don't have a better ladder. All my step ladders are on various job sites uh, and I think I should be able to get one tomorrow. So so once I have a better ladder here, I will finish the roof, but I did get one roof panel started uh, and so everything kind of works off of that one. Um, and that's part of my castle. Yep. Hey, part of my castle. So you use this, uh, this butyl caulking sealer in between. This will basically run down the, this whole center piece where each piece goes together. Should not take too much longer to get it all taken care of and then be able to pull pull the boat out of here. Uh, I'm pulling the, pulling the dump trailer off to another job site tomorrow morning so it'll be out of the way. So then as soon as I get this roof done, I can put the boat away where it actually goes. I'm really, really looking forward to just being able to get home at the end of a fishing trip and back the boat in there and then not have to do anything with it. If it's gonna rain, I don't have to cover it. If it's currently raining, I don't have to, yeah, it's just, this is gonna be really nice. And then like I think I mentioned in the beginning of the video, be able to just like sit out here and uh, do stuff in the boat, you know, prep for a trip the day before without having to like uncover it and then cover it back up if it's gonna rain, you know, that night or something silly, which happens a lot. Uh, so anyway, that's all for today. More to come shortly.
one completed carport. Taking advantage of this beautiful weather to uh, get it all wrapped up. The most freaking tedious thing on this entire project was this crap. This is just vinyl, some vinyl trim that has like a metal, like a metal U-channel in it to help it, you know, form and, and hold, hold itself on there. And that was the absolute most biggest pain in the ass trying to get that on, especially on the ones like this where it's two pieces of metal and they don't perfectly line up. I did eventually figure out, you know, started on the back, did the whole back one, and then did this whole side. I eventually figured out that when I get to these ones, I should just stop here and like physically spread open this U-channel a little bit and that would let it slide over and then I could just clamp it down better. So it was one of those things that I was very slow going at first and it was still slow going overall, but I figured out a way to make it a little bit more efficient eventually. So it is all done. And I also put some lights up in here last night. These are some extra LED shop lights that, I, that I've had for a while. So I got them hanging up in here. I am probably eventually going to kind of set this up a little bit more permanently. I'm gonna have, like currently these would just be, you know, pull chain, turn them on, have to pull both chains, turn both lights on. You know, it's, it's a little things, but I think eventually I might try to actually run, like basically run power out here, possibly via an extension cord and then actually wire in a switch that I can just, you know, walk up, flick a light switch, lights on, lights off kind of deal. Um, but then also something out here, whether it's just, whether it's an extension cord that just has, you know, like this one right here, multiple uh, outlets on it for at least one, possibly two chargers in the boat, um, running fans potentially. It just, I, I want options for power out here. So I might end up doing something a little bit more, a little bit more permanent than just an extension cord going up to lights. So, but that'll be a, that'll be something I do down the road, which means there is just one thing left to do before we wrap this video up. I have a dress. Hi guys, today Dad is for sale. This look, we won, so we can make it. Okay, we'll see you later. Not gonna film soon. But my knee hurts today because I fell yesterday. Hey, please don't touch the camera. I'm not. What you think? Cool. Cool. <laughs> I agree. It's cool. Yeah, I know. We need to clean it. It needs a good cleaning. How did it got this? How did it got what? It's pollen. The pollening has started. And yep. Pollen on the wheels. The pollen on everything. Yep. We need to give the boat a good spring cleaning. Yeah. That's awesome. It's uh if I had if I had more money to spend on it, I probably would have gotten one that it was a few feet longer. It's not as long as it could be, but I, it'll it'll absolutely do the job and keep it pretty dry, I think, all things considered. So, I'm happy with it and again, it's not it's not perfect. It's not perfectly level. It's obviously not or it's not perfectly flat level all that good stuff, but you know what? It's it's gonna do the job. It's gonna do and what I need I it to. I wanted to tell you something. And today is spring. It is almost, it is, it's actually, yeah, probably is spring by now. It Stuff's is. getting green. We got that tree. It's getting nice and green. Starting to get a little bit more grass back. We are all wrapped up. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'm also, 
I have no idea when this video is actually gonna come out because I'm several videos behind, but like two days ago, we hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed, uh, whether you, a lot of that's come from the deck video series that I did a couple years ago. Um, I, there's not as much on the, you know, normal vlog type stuff, but that's okay. Cause I have fun making the videos and hopefully at least a few people enjoy watching them. Uh, there will be more, more house projects to come. There's already been some, there's going to be more. So stay tuned and see you guys next time. See you guys next time too.